I do apologize. Um, I thought I was recording earlier on. Um, so you probably just miss that from there to here. There was a cinematic -y moment between them. Uh, a whole bunch of guys popped up behind you after you get past the crate. Three guys. Cinematic slow motion moment. Flared gun, turned around, fired, all insta died. Now to pick now to show you the manuscript which you pick up at the cabin on here. Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up, and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Yeah. Sorry about that earlier. Um, so, you haven't missed anything much other than that, so... Let's take a look what's inside here. Hello, baby. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan. Princes among men, but the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. Twilight in Night Springs. Oh, tonight's episode a quantum suicide. Quantum suicide, what if our lives are already written? It would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. This should be good. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Yeah, I'm thinking it was supposed to be plugged in. Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Filled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat in Night Springs. Okay, so we're having a Twilight Zone episode here. Kind of fitting, given the whole situation. But, uh... Ooh, button. Alright, that opens the gate. Anything else in here I can pick up? No. I had to leave the safety of this building, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Out we go. Hmm. 
Hell of a jump from there to here, doesn't it? Okay, so we've got swinging logs. Incoming. You can tell something's going to happen, can't you? Because this wind's picking up. Nice little indicator something is coming to try and kill you. Now, the question is where? Let's see now, shall we? You know what? Just get it over with. Where are you? Just get it over with, Captain Vinny. Where are you? Come on, Captain Nutjob, where are you? Show yourself. I don't like playing cat and mouse. Especially when I'm a mouse. There he is. Boss fight time. Oh, he's brought friends. Sorry, that was just my watch going off telling me to feed the dog. <laughs> if you heard a little beep beep. Oh, there's someone to the side of me. Okay, this guy's fast. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reached the lights of the gas station alive. Where's that ammo box? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first boss fight in this. Damn, they are quick. No shotgun ammo. Damn. Okay. Since there's no swirly, swirly mists, I can only assume that means that there's no more enemies running around. Safe for now. Relatively speaking, in a, hor in a horror game. Relatively speaking, of course, for safety. What do these thermoses even do? Are they life extenders or something? They must be life extenders or something. I don't know what they do. Maybe someone in the comments will tell us what... Oh, what the thermoses actually do, or if it's just a random collectible. Let's see if we can't get out of the garage now, shall we? 
Let's get out of this nut house. That didn't sound good. Anyone else hear a dum just there? That's never good. A dum is. I recognized never good. the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yeah, because of the whole deer fest thing. Well, I have a funny feeling that's gonna fly up and try to eat us. Or is that just my paranoia kicking in now? Hey, paranoia! Old friend of the horror genre. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. That's a little on the bright side. Well, now that we're all safe and sound, I'll leave it to you there. Good night, and don't let the darkness bite.